So this is not easy. I am gaga go over this bike. So I'm taking home a 2024 Honda Goldwing DCT from Hamburg Honda. And we'll start off with a throughway visit. I'll have that someplace in the throughway series. The bike is just beautiful. Okay, this is my first time on the Goldwing in a year and a half. So she's on, let's start her. She's in neutral, neutral light here. Oh, jeez. My mirrors, let's look at these set. Okay. So I have to reverse out of here. I don't know if I have to reverse. What should we do reverse? So I got to reverse a little out of here, hand on the brake. This is the forward and reverse button. Let's push that. So now I got that signal. Minus is reverse. And she slowly backs up. Let's do forward. Trigger button here. Got a lot of obstacles here. Oh, is that for an, I don't, I can't remember if, I don't have the weight of this bike, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll let her walk out this way, that's nice. Okay, so now we're done with that, we're on the brake. Push this button to get it out of forward and reverse. So we're in neutral now, drive mode, manual, drive. Let's turn the cruise on, because I like cruise, so that's on. Oh, and the modes are here. Oh boy. Okay, that's my mode button. Okay. Windshield here. Let's turn. Let's 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 live big. Let's live big. Let's turn heated seat on. Seats on high. Grips are on high. That's awesome. Yeah. If I can make it out of this obstacle course, she's good. Oh, you got this. Yeah. Say hello. This is Cam. Hey everyone. <laughs> Cam, thank you. Cam is a lead salesman at Hamburg Honda. Oh boy. I'm gonna walk her out of here. Oh boy, she's nice. Oh. It's always interesting to get on a DCT bike. And this is really gonna be a throughway run. God, I'm gonna have to adjust my right mirror on the throughway. It's always interesting to get the feel of a DCT bike without the clutch. And this this motorcycle, guys, this is gonna be hard for me. I hope my camera angles right on this bike. This this motorcycle is hard for me because it is just so rich. It is just so rich and comfortable. Oh my God. Oh my God. I gotta tip this mirror up. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. This bike has very little miles on it. Again, I have to be careful with the tires. God, guys, give me a break. Give me a break. Guys, this bike is so comfortable.
Yeah, I'm going 75 miles an hour. I'm in seventh gear. I'm at 2,500 RPM. I'm going to slow it down a little. Getting used to the instrument cluster. I haven't been on this in a while. So now I've got to remember the speed is on a dial. Someone's passing me. Let them pass. I don't know what I can say other than on the throughway. She's, of course, you're going to know this. Heat's coming on the seat. Heat's coming on the grips. The handlebars, you would think the handlebars are not comfortable. They're kind of low. It's outstanding. Outstanding on the throughway. I have just the only wind that's touching me is on the my triceps on my arms, and I am wide. You're looking through the windshield, but she is a dream. I'm probably going to get in, I'll get in this right lane because I'm not going that fast. She is luxury. Look, look at the suspension moving if you can see it there. Look here, you can see the suspension. Again, similar to a BMW telelever front end on it. It has that, I think the rear end, the rear end on a Goldwing is, um, is an air suspension, I think. I have to look that up. And I think she's about 125 horsepower. Silky, silky smooth on the highway. This thing is a highway cruncher. Cruncher. Just beautiful. And uh, she looks like she's starting to rain. I have no control over that. She's starting to rain. And uh, I, turn, I hit the bra I touched the brakes and the, the crew shut off. Let's get it back and resume. A little bit of a, a light mist of rain. Not gonna fail onto this. I love watching the suspension go up and down. The ride. Okay, let's get back to the Can-Am Spider, the ride. I thought the ride was very good on the Spider. Actually, I might even say I thought it was amazing. This thing just floats. I never had, in my previous Goldwing video, I never had it on the throughway. This just floats. Floats. Let's get in the fast lane. Let's, let's put it in drive mode. What do we have here? Sport, Econo, rain. Might have to turn it into rain. Sport. Let's let's hit it sport. Let's just see your downshift in sport. I'll give it a little throttle. Oh man. Beautiful. I shot up to 80. I wasn't even trying to get to 85 and she shot up. Shot up to 85. So you know we're in these horsepower wars. This thing is fine. Clicked it back on the cruise. Believe it in tour. The mist was very light. Um, she feels heavy, you know, turn at the highway speeds, turning the bars, you feel the weight. You definitely feel there's a lot of mass on those front tires. Um, I think it has a 19 inch front tire, but you definitely, it, it's, it's, you feel it on the bars on the highway turning it, but it's just, that also helps to stabilize it and steering it. Now, remember, I just got off, well, you're not going to remember, I just returned the Honda CB650. I'll slow down a little bit. Oh my God, this bike. Oh my God. Uh, this is going to be hard. It's going to be hard to bring this bike back. It's going to be hard to bring it back. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's not going to be easy. I'm going to let the camera run just because I'm going to be in some traffic. And we'll see how it does in traffic with uh, the wind, um, with the truck. I, I, now that I don't even feel the trucks. I don't even, they're not, they're not even moving this thing. Nothing. Wind blast from them, nothing. Seat's on full now. Seat and heated grips over here. The peat seat heated grip, heated seat is here. Heated handlebars there. I won't get into the stereo functions. I might not get into any of that during this video series. Who cares about the stereo? Man, this thing is just, man. 
vibration free. I took my hands off on a little turn. She's just a, she's just beautiful. But my, my, it's like my, it balances like my 990 Duke that's half the weight. It balances like my KTM 990 Duke. I, I can ride that for miles with no hands on the bars and steer with my butt. This bike balances that well. I can't believe, look at the traffic going the other way. I can't believe the traffic I'm encountering. It's, it's like nothing. She tips into a turn with no effort. You think about tipping into a turn, she tips. It, it's amazing how a bike this heavy, this long, it's a very long motorcycle, how it tips into the turn. You know, the bars are like, I always try to find where the horn is. Oh, I love the loud horn. Magnificent on the highway. My legs, my knees, my leg position is so comfortable. Very, again, the only wind I am feeling is on my outside of my triceps on my arm. That's it. That's all I'm feeling on me. My gosh, she's dreamy. She is just so dreamy. Silly, huh? Calling a motorcycle dreamy. You feel that weight when you hit a bump. She definitely hits it a little harder, but the suspension sucks it up. I mean, harder than uh, certainly the CB650. It just floats. It just floats. So this is a highway video, and the purpose, reason I do highway videos is, and again, you got that seventh gear, that overdrive on it. The manual transmission has six gears. The reason I do the highway video is kind of, is it a daily commuter? And, you know, some of us ride on, I don't, but some of us ride on the highway for work like I do, and you gotta take your, you drive your motorcycle to work, you gotta use it for work. And out of all the motorcycles I've ridden on the highway, including my 24 Harvey Davidson Road Glide with a Clockworks windshield, this is by far, beyond the Spider, Spider Chris, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Spider Chris, it's um, the Spider Minimalist. Chris, you gotta ride this bike. I know you might not be able to ride it in the winter in the snow, like the Spider you have, but this thing is phenomenal. Phenomenal on the highway. I think it'd be phenomenal as a daily driver. Um, in traffic, you know, are you gonna are you want to go out and split lanes? You'd be stupid if you did that in it. You know, I don't know. Maybe a very good driver would split lanes in it. Actually, I think that's illegal in New York. We're not California. Um, so splitting lanes in New York is illegal. There's a paddy wagon. Um. give a little more distance to this vehicle in front. You know, when I split lanes, like if I was in California, in traffic, or I, I'm sure a good driver may. I think it's an awfully wide bike to do that. Um, I And it's long, and the bars are a little heavy. You know, it's a full-size bike. But I, I think as a daily commuter, I think it'd be excellent. The brakes are outstanding. I'll, brakes are outstanding. I turn my high beams on. I'm running without my high beams on. Now I try to get all the way to the left and I have my finger on the horn. So I'm ready to hit the horn and, and she's a loud horn. Look, I'll give, give him a little warning. Hey, wake up, buddy. Wake up, buddy, wake up, wake up. So I, I'm on that horn I and, and some on some bikes are always in a slightly different spot. Harley's, my Harley Davidson has the worst horn location. It's on the other side of the left turn signal button lever, and I, I, I think that's a bad design. Oh man, am I getting a break with traffic? We're coming up by the airport. Oh my God, I am as now. My climb gear is the best you can buy. Climb pants, 
Badlands Pro pants, the Pro Vert, the premium version, Badlands Pro jacket. I have Climb uh, Badlands GTX, I think they're long version gloves. I'm in uh, Harley Davidson boots, which I love, but they don't like a quick sh uh, shifter lover. So I am extremely comfortable. So it's about 44 degrees, I think. I don't know if they show the temperature on this dashboard. Yeah, it says 51, it's not 51. I'd say it's it's 44, 45, at least that's what my phone said. Um, very comfortable. I think I'd be comfortable at 35 degrees on this bike. Heated grips, heated seats, my climb gear. We're gonna buzz you up a little faster on the throughway. I hope the camera's running. What a dream, what a dream. I have to thank again Hamburg Honda for allowing me to borrow these motorcycles, take them home for uh, videos to share with you so you can learn from them. I love all motorcycles. You would never see me rip apart, slam a motorcycle. I like to ride all of them. And if you, if I'm riding a bike and I'm silent, you know my brain's grinding away thinking um, just how immersed I am in what the motorcycle does well. And I'm immersed in this bike. She's this, especially with this DCT transmission, dual clutch transmission, seven gears. I don't know of any other motorcycle that has seven gears. It's just in this huge, this wall of a windshield. This wall of a windshield is just amazing. And I took her off cruise control. Yeah, I usually put everything in cruise control. I took it off. I got into the traffic. It was so comfortable not using the cruise. I'm getting off the throughway in a mile. Should I let's let's do a little pass here? Okay, we're gonna nudge you in here. And that was in tour mode. If I dropped it down manually in a gear, which I can with the thumb control, but it being definitely would have passed faster but I didn't want to do that we're gonna leave her in, in auto mode and I'm gonna get off the throughway up here and that's a <laughs> she's a dream that's a no if you run a throughway if you travel with a bike I mean come on this is a bike we'll leave the camera on I like to leave it on until I get off the throughway hit my turn signal get off the throughway she leans I love how she leans she just leans so well and the controls are in great spots great spots on the bike love where the controls are every the thumb the turn signal control is so naturally located Using the rear brake, a little bit of front brake. Well, Marauders, thanks for coming back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Sharing, liking the video, subscribing to that channel, sharing it with a friend. She's in traffic and she's wonderful. She's at home, baby girl. She is at home. All right, Marauders, that's it. Hope to see you on the trail. Please be safe. I hope you're enjoying whatever you're doing. And by the way, it was nice that I could put my backpack on a trunk. Love having storage on a bike. Love having storage. This has a ton of it. All right, guys, hope to see you on the trail.